may have seen an article published today by the website Breitbart.com saying that seven refugees with active tuberculosis cases were sent to Idaho. Amy Reed spoke with Idaho State epidemiologist today to confirm the facts in the article, and Amy's here now to explain. Amy? Thanks, Chris. For those of you that missed the article, it said that seven refugees with active TB were diagnosed after their resettlement in Idaho between 2011 and 2015. The epidemiologist spoke, that I spoke with confirmed that is true. However, it's not the complete story. She told me TB is nothing new for Idaho, and the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare treats people, both refugee and American, every year. These particular cases are not contagious and do not pose a threat to the public. The department typically tests and treats risk excuse me, refugees, within 90 days of them being in state, and the refugees are usually good patients. We're very active, and the refugees are incredibly cooperative about wanting to be immunized, wanting to be put on any treatment they need, and getting on their way to becoming good Idaho you know, citizens. They really are very willing and eager to be treated, and, um, and they don't want to pose a risk to anybody either. These refugees were confirmed in two of the health districts in the state, three of them here in District 5, which reaches from Twin Falls and Casa County up to Camas and Blaine. The other four were in District 4, which surrounds Boise.